My name is Rhoda Morvister. I was born in the Bronx, New York, in December 1941. I've always felt responsible for World War II. The first thing I remember liking that liked me back was food. I had a bad puberty. It lasted 17 years. I'm a high school graduate. I went to art school. My entrance exam was on a book of matches. I decided to move out of the house when I was 24. My mother still refers to this as the time I ran away from home. Eventually, I ran to Minneapolis, where it's cold, and I figured I'd keep better. Now I'm back in Manhattan. New York, this is your last chance. to be late for a formal dinner thing I'm invited to because I'm wasting my time talking to you. Wasting your time talking to me. That's funny. That's what your mother said. When did my mother say that? Oh, didn't I tell you? She's on her way up by elevator. Oh, thanks for letting me know, Carlton. At your service. Mm. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop it away. <laughs> Gee, Ma, I'm going out tonight. It's all right. I'm not here to see you. I'm here to see Rhoda. Well, Ma, why didn't you go upstairs to see her? Because I never intrude on married couples. <laughs> Get her down here. Uh, Ma, I'm late as it is. I'm... All right, I understand. I guess I can trudge back through eight blocks of slush without my galoshes. <laughs> I'm dialing, Ma. I am dialing. Why didn't you do that to begin with and stop putting me through all this? <laughs> Hello, Ro? Listen, Ma's here. She wants you to come down. I don't know. I'm just a messenger. Listen, why don't I just tell her you're not there? <laughs> Probably wouldn't work. Okay, Ro, I'll tell her you're coming. Bye. So, Brenda, what's new with you? Ma, you don't have to make small talk. I mean, we both know your mission here tonight is Rhoda. Hi. Oh, Brenda, nice. Thanks. Yeah, Ma. Rhoda, how nice you happen to drop by. <laughs> I'm uh, filthy from walking the streets. Let me go wash my hands. She did say she wanted to talk to me, right? Oh, yeah, she does. I think she's in there getting herself psyched up. Rhoda, she has been acting really weird. Oh, yeah? What do you mean? Here I am, all dressed up in an evening gown, a corsage. You know, she didn't even ask me where I was going. Oh, this really must be big. So, Rhoda. So, Ma. <laughs> well, I gotta get going. I'll see you guys later. Excuse me. Brenda, come back here! What? Ma, what? What? Darling, I have just one thing to say. Have a lovely time. And remember, a mother always knows. <laughs> Good night, Rhoda. Good night, Ma. Oh, my. She is such a good girl. She is, isn't she? <laughs> Ma, give me a break. Listen, Joe's waiting upstairs. Can you please tell me what, what, what's on your mind? Rhoda, you have been ducking me for weeks. I know there's some kind of trouble. It's not anything worth talking about. I know it's big trouble. Ma, and do you know how I know? How? Because when someone is really troubled, she starts wearing dark clothes. I haven't been wearing dark clothes. I have. <laughs> it is your marriage, isn't it? No, Ma, it isn't my marriage, I swear. Rhoda, it's nothing to be ashamed of. If your marriage is breaking up, I just want to know so I can help you conceal it from the rest of the family. <laughs> I wish I knew what normal mothers and daughters talk about. Uh, uh, Rhoda, you know a lot of marriages in this country are breaking up. And do you know why? Because people don't try hard enough. But Rhoda, if you respect your marriage, you have to fight for it. If you and Joe are really in love, you should be willing to suffer for the rest of your lives. <laughs> your father and I have 
had a few bad years once when the passion went out of our marriage. You know what I mean when I say passion? Mom, I don't want to hear. I really don't. You and Pop's passion. No, I don't want to hear. Why, Rhoda? Has the passion gone out of your marriage? No. We have a great sex life. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Especially now that you're breaking up. Ma, we're not breaking... Okay. All right, you win. As usual, I will tell you what's wrong. Uh, the problem is money. Yeah. Joe's business is in trouble and he may lose it. It's not the marriage. I mean, not that that's not important, the business. But it's not the marriage. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's not the marriage. <laughs> right. I told you. Tell me exactly how bad are things. Well, you know the girl that works for Joe, May? Yes. He can't keep her on except part-time. So I'm going to start going into the office and working afternoons. So why didn't you come to us for financial help? We're your parents. Ma, I love you. I truly love you, too. But, see, I don't think Joe would take money from his in-laws. And besides, things aren't that bad. Rhoda, things are worse than you think, and I have proof. What proof? If things were good, would I be here? <laughs> Mr. Gerard, your mail. <laughs> How am I doing so far? Not so good. Huh? What's the matter? What's wrong? We're bankrupt. What? Yeah, all what? those guys that we owe money to, they're suing us. You're kidding. I do one thing. I hand you one letter, and the whole business comes tumbling down. <laughs> Why couldn't I have handed you this one first? Your subscription to Fortune magazine ran out. <laughs> Bankrupt, huh? Well, I guess that's it. Joe. Maybe not. What do you mean? Maybe not bankrupt. I mean, I was talking to Ma yesterday. She said if we needed money, she would be anxious. Oh, no. They would love to help us. No. They would, Joe. No. Where does a guy go to vote yes? <laughs> no, I can't do it, babe. I just can't go to your folks for money. Joe, it's not a question of whether you can go to my folks for money. The question is, do you want this business? Yeah, yeah, sure, I want this business. Okay, then, that's settled. I'm gonna call them, have them over for dinner tonight, and we'll ask them for the loan. Okay. okay? Boy, it's gonna be murder asking your father for $7,000. $7,000? <laughs> Okay, I'll invite them for the weekend. Well, I feel real funny about doing this, babe. Joe, I don't feel so normal myself. Boy, don't things get weird the instant you go to ask somebody for money? I mean, for the first time in my life, I'm worried that my folks won't like what I cook. <laughs> of course, the real problem is nobody under 40 knows how to make chicken the way my mother likes it. So I lost art, kind of like glass blowing. <laughs> I think it has something to do with the paprika. Oh, there you are. Yeah. There it goes. Nothing. All right, yeah, I'm with you. Hi, Ida. Hi, 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 sweetie. Are we late? No, All you're right. just fine. Oh, oh, come in. Oh, All right. Right. Rhoda, I would have had the doorman announce us, but I didn't want to interrupt his practicing. Practicing what? Singing into a brown paper bag. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Good. You'll never guess what I'm making for our dinner. What? If I don't drop it, wait a minute. Oh, good chicken. Yeah. Rhoda, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Joe, whenever anybody wants to please Ida, that's what they make. You know, in most cultures, the dove is the sign of peace. In our family, it's the chicken. <laughs> Please, Martin, sit down here. Yeah. <coughs> this is a beautiful place. You like it? Look at this carpet, honey. Yeah. Oh, boy, you did a yeah, we're getting it part. together, Pop. Really we are. Yeah. <coughs> so. Yeah. So. <laughs> You remember yesterday when we were talking uh, and you spoke of uh, helping us? Yeah. Pop, Joe and I'd like to ask you something. Of course, of course. 
Things have been a little slow with the business, and, um... Oh, Joe, you don't have to tell us all this. We're family. What do you want? No, Ida. Ida, look. I want you to really understand what's going on. Now, I... Well, I... We. Uh, we. We. We need uh, $7,000 to get through the next two months. That's to pay all the regular bills and, you know. Oh, Joe, 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 listen, listen, listen. You don't have to give us all of these details. I mean, we're not a lone company. We're family. Take 8000 <laughs> <laughs> Now, I want you to know... I would never ask this if there was any question in my mind that I couldn't pay you back with interest. Interest. Listen, you know what my interest is? My interest is that you should have a lovely marriage and a happy family. That's what my interest is. Go ahead. Just ask. <laughs> I can't do it. Isn't he a doll? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, listen to me. Now look, I'm not pushing you, honestly. It's whatever you want. But keep in mind, it's a loan. A loan. We're not mugging my folks in an alley. <laughs> I mean, they really, they, they, they want to help us. They want to give us the money. They love us. That's right, Joe. And you can't put a price on love. And even if you could, it'd probably be 9000 right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Martin, what I've been trying to say is that if you could see your way clear, could you loan me $7,000? No. <laughs> Martin, I don't think that they know that you were kidding when you said no. Ida, I can't give Joe the money. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, forget it's okay. it. It's okay. We don't Doesn't really matter. need it. Let's have one a drink. Right. I'll, I'll get you a drink. Why oh. did you pick now to demonstrate your humor? Sweetheart, <laughs> I can't give the kids the money because I don't have the money. Oh, well, listen, we, we don't, don't need want it. it. We, we don't, don't need want it. it. Let's all have some dinner. Right. Let's let's have some dinner. dinner. Let me, wait a minute. Let me explain to you. Everything I got is tied up in the market. You know what's happening. My bottom is falling out. <laughs> <laughs> Later, I might have it. Who knows? But who knows how long that's going to be? It's just that right now, I can't put my hands oh, on it. We don't Martin, need the details. Listen, you I have to give you the money. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have a question to ask. How come if we're feeling a pinch, I don't know it? Ida, the only reason Martin, I didn't tell you... this is not to be discussed in front of the children. <laughs> Ma, Pop, I feel so, so... I had no idea. I mean, I never imagined you were having money problems. Neither did I. <laughs> well, look, if there's any way that I can help with a loan or something... <laughs> Reflex action. All right, Joe, I know how you feel. And I know how you feel, Ma. You know, on second thought, I don't. I never had the slightest idea how you feel. How do you feel? I feel like chicken. Let's see. Okay. I knew I should never have brought this up. Brought what up? We're not discussing anything anymore. We're just here to have a quiet little dinner. I mean, what's to be gained by dwelling on the fact that you can be married to a man for almost 40 years, share the same closet, sleep in the same bed? I don't it's a simple explanation. Martin, I don't want to talk about any of this until after dinner. So eat fast. <laughs> Hello, Ma? This is Brenda. I'm sorry to call so late. What do you mean? I call you a lot. Okay, okay, Ma, the reason why I don't call you more is because you always ask me to explain why I don't call you more. <laughs> Ma, Ma, listen. Listen, what I wanted to tell you was, you know that money you and Pop were saving for my wedding? Well, I want you to give it to Rhoda and Joe. Ma, it's no big deal. I'm not wonderful. <laughs> Ma, I'm not a princess. Ma, I am not an angel from heaven. Ma, I'm not. Things are rough and I just want to help out. Ma, you're praising me too much. I'm not. I am not another Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> okay, Ma. Okay, good night. <laughs> girl 
girl's another Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> An angel. You know what our young Eleanor Roosevelt wanted us to do? What? Give Joe and Rhoda the money we've been saving up for her wedding. You, uh, you didn't tell her. Tell her that we only started saving for her wedding after Rhoda was married? <laughs> How much is in that account, anyway? $28. <laughs> I'm surprised you told me. Why didn't you keep me in the dark about that, too? Ida, you want to talk? About what, Martin? About what? What do you mean, about what? About the money. You seemed upset because I didn't tell you I want to talk to you about it. What is your part of the blanket on, a seven or an eight? What difference does it make? Well, tonight I want us both to be the same temperature. Come on. <laughs> Ida, the reason I didn't tell you was that it's only a temporary setback. We have plenty of money, sweetheart. It's just that everything I have is tied up in the market right now, so it's not worth anything. <laughs> what you're saying is that we have plenty of money, we just don't have any... Money. <laughs> oh, well, that's a relief. <laughs> just, I don't know, I just feel terrible. I can't help the kids out. Tomorrow morning, Joe has to go in there and close down his business, and there's nothing I can do to help. Hey, it's 11.30. You want to watch Johnny? Not tonight. If you don't mind, Martin, tonight is not the night for me to watch somebody making $3 million a year. <laughs> hey, look at this. Picture of the first building we ever knocked down, huh? Yeah, it sure got a lot easier after we bought that wrecking ball, huh? <laughs> That's the barbecue. <laughs> hey, Ma! Oh, I thought I had the wrong office. I came to the door and I heard people laughing. Like they had money. <laughs> Hi, Ida. Hi, Joe. Oh, hi, Ma. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? I came here to make a little speech. Do you want me to leave while you uh, talk things over? Gee, I don't know. Who are you? Justin Culp. I, uh, I used to work here. Oh, well, then you better stay, because what I have to say relates to the business. Of course, there is a personal part, so maybe when I get to the personal, you could... Uh... Sure. Yeah. Rhoda? Yeah. Joe? Justin? <laughs> I'm here to ask a question. Why is it that you went to your father for money instead of me? Well, uh, Pop, it's been working all these years. I figure he's got the money. Rhoda, don't I look like a person who would have something tucked away for a rainy day? I don't know, Ma. I mean, I... When I was married, your grandmother Morgenstern took me into her kitchen and she pressed some money in my hand, and I mean pressed. <laughs> and she said to me in her broken English, Ida, say this. You should always have something tucked away for a rainy day. You never know when you'll have to move your tent to another village. Oh. <laughs> wow, heavy. I didn't mean it literally. I mean, we didn't live in a tent. So, for all these years, I've been putting something away for a rainy day at four and a half percent. And this is the day, and it's pouring in here. <laughs> so, on this day, when you've had this unfortunate thing that you refer to as your... Uh, uh, bankruptcy. Your inconvenience. <laughs> on this very day, I have $7,000 to oh, give you. Ma, oh, Ma, that's incredible. That's so sweet. Well, we appreciate we it, do. but you folks have got to keep it. Yes. I mean, Martin said the No, other no, day no, that... no. Martin explained the whole thing to me. We have more than enough money. We're just not sure where it is. <laughs> Take that check. Oh, Ma, Wait. listen to me. Up front, I'm gonna tell you. I'm oh. gonna wait you out on this one. And Will don't start putting checks oh, oh. at me. Now get the no, dog. No, she's putting <laughs> checks in my clothes. Listen, stop it. Now just stop it right now, because I'm serious here. You hear me? Now stop! You always like this, insistent. Now look. I am not taking the check. We can argue, we can fight, you can conceal the check, and I am not gonna take it. You hear? 
And I know your tricks. I'm on to you. Now, wait. Listen. She will deposit it in a bank and under our name. No, I won't. I won't. Yeah, I'll suddenly one morning we find a packet of diamonds on our terrace. <laughs> Ma, it's wonderful, the thought, but we absolutely cannot take it. There is no way you're going to get me to take that check. And there is no way that I'd want you to take it. I am perfectly willing to take back this money. Great. If you can tell me why, you'd accept it from your father and not from me. <laughs> is my money dirty? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not, it's, not it's not dirty. Because if you can't tell me and give me a good reason, then the only explanation that I can come up with is that you love and trust your father more than you do me. <laughs> Joe, now you don't have to move your tent to another village. <laughs> Okay, Enough work. Come okay on. I'm ready to go. Yeah? Okay, good. Hey, Rhoda, did you really mean that, what you said before? You know, about you being happy that the business was folding so you could see me more? Did I say that? Yeah, you did. Well, you said you were relieved that it was all over. Well, I got a good explanation for that. What? I lied. <laughs> hey, listen. Hmm? Why don't we go to the market and get a couple of really good steaks, a bottle of wine, and go home and celebrate, huh? That's a good idea. You got any money? No, you? No. <laughs> you think the market will cash a check for $7,000? Only if it's for the exact amount of purchase. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm stopped. <laughs> 